However, a breakthrough medical scanning technique could provide life-saving care to stroke victims, and it is available in most hospitals. Radiologists tested the imaging technique to determine which stroke patients would be good candidates for a procedure to restore blood flow. In people who have suffered from large vessel occlusion strokes, I. E. Ischemic stroke, a blood clot would have traveled from the heart or neck and blocked blood flow to the brain. Described as the most common serious neurological disease in the UK, current treatment is an endovascular thrombectomy. An endovascular thrombectomy involves a tube being inserted into the blood vessel to remove or destroy the clot. Dr. Argil Bardo Gonzalez, from the Department of Radiology at Massachusetts General Hospital, MGH, in Boston, stated that endovascular thrombectomy is over 90% effective. The problem is, we're only treating less than 10% of the people who might benefit, Dr. Gonzalez added. The common mistake people make when showering that can be harmful, pharmacists warning such a shortfall has been attributed to the challenge in determining which patients need treatment right away, and who can wait longer for treatment. Another consideration is how fast the brain injury is growing. In prior research, Dr. Gonzalez and his colleagues discovered that the brain injury grows very slowly in a significant portion of patients. Such a finding suggests that many stroke patients would benefit from a thrombectomy procedure even 24 hours or more after the blockage occurs. Nadia Hussain Health, I feel like I'm going to die, Bake Off Stars Condition, Insight James Martin Health. Chef's severe condition leads to terrible disasters, symptoms, insight stat and side effects, for digestive system problems, common effects, insight, in order to identify which patients can receive a later operational treatment, Dr. Gonzalez studied the results from 31 stroke patients. When admitted to hospital, these patients underwent a computed tomography and geography, CTA, Dash an imaging technique readily available in many hospitals. The patients then had MRIs over the next two days to track how much the brain injury was growing. The results revealed a strong link between brain injury growth and blood flow in the collateral blood vessels. The collateral blood vessels are smaller blood vessels recruited by the brain to make up for the loss of blood flow in the large vessels. Dr. Gonzalez and his team identified a symmetric collateral pattern. This was strongly associated with slow growing, and highly treatable, brain injury. Dr. Gonzalez said, our data shows that in almost half of patients, the core, brain injury, grows very slowly. That's a huge number of people who are potentially treatable. As the CTA scanning equipment is widely available, patterns spotted by it offer a potential lifeline for tens of thousands of stroke victims. In theory, patients discovered to have good collateral circulation patterns by the CTA scanning equipment could be transferred to more equipped hospitals to be treated at a later stage. Dr. Gonzalez said, with CT and geography, we've found a way that's widely available to identify these slow progressors, 